Hi guys, I'm Alex. I just want to talk to you about my new roof rack system. Uh, it's the Rhino Rack 2500 multi-fit range of removable roof racks. So this is the 2500 that I bought. I decided to go with the Aero Bar. Uh, there are a couple of different options of the bar that you can pick to go with your 2500 system. Uh, so as you know, I've gone with the Aero, there's the Heavy Duty, uh, there's the Sports Bar and the Euro Bar. Uh, it also fits a wide variety of cars, so you've got, uh, you know, it'll fit vans, sedans, utes, um, you know, a wide range of cars. You can also fit a wide range of uh, accessories on there, so you've got things like bike carriers, uh, luggage racks, kayak carriers, uh, looks like ladder racks. So pretty much I'm assuming that any of Rhino Rack's accessories should fit this system. So this is the instructions that came with my 2500 series system. I do highly recommend reading them as there's a lot of important information in here. Uh, it tells you how to assemble them, it will tell you the load rating for your car, it will also give you detailed measurements of where they need to go on your car. Uh, so I do highly recommend reading your instructions. This is my 2500 system. I've read the instructions and I've assembled it accordingly to those. Uh, I've also done all the measurements to where it's going to fit on my car. One thing that you'll notice too is you do have measurements for how far in your leg has to sit for your car. Uh, those measurements are found in your clamp kit. Uh, these kits are specific to your vehicle. They'll also have the load rating that's specific to your vehicle as well. So now that I've got all the measurements done, I'm going to go ahead and fit these. So I just got done doing the measurements for my vehicle. As I said before, you are going to want to go through your instructions and just find out the measurements for your vehicle as they will be vehicle specific. Uh, to get your measurements, all you do is just go forward to the front of your car from where your, your front door and your rear door meet. So for your front door, you're measuring towards the front of your car. For your rear door, you're measuring back towards the boot of your car. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fit your rear bar. Um, I've already fitted my front, I've already worked out all my measurements, I've assembled it, so this is the last thing that I've got to do. Uh, before I can put this on though, you do have to open up both doors. So I've gone ahead and placed my rear bar on to where my measurements were marked out. Uh, there is also a little arrow on the inside of your foot plate. You just want to make sure that that's lined up with your measurements as well. So everything's all lined up, so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this up. So once you're done tightening your rack evenly on both sides of your roof, you can go ahead and put on your locking cover. Put that on and lock it. So that's pretty much on. Uh, you can go ahead and check your racks just by giving them a quick shake, just making sure that they're on securely on your roof. So the 2500 system's really impressed me. It's made from great Australian quality materials. It's lightweight, it's very versatile, it's really easy to install and really easy to remove. So if you're just planning a quick getaway to the beach or you just want to utilize your vehicle's space more efficiently, I highly recommend this roof rack. So a great addition to your 2500 multi-fit system is some tie down straps. I've gone ahead with the Rhino Rack surf straps. Uh, they've been really great for everything I've needed so far. They're great for surfboards, you can tie down ladders. Pretty much most of the stuff that you need to tie down to your roof, these will work for. So they're a really great strap. 